<coughs> I think I used too much lighter fluid on the barbecue. Well, at least the hamburgers and hot dogs will be done in, uh, oh my gosh, I don't have enough. Hey, Dave! What is it, Orb? You're gonna have to make a lot more potato salad. Everyone's here for the show. Okay, I'll be right out there. Have fun, folks. I gotta go make sure we don't burn down the place. Uh, how many want dogs? Show of hands. Uh, hot dogs? Hamburgers? Both? Oh, I gotta go to the store. Oh, man. It's this Justin News Comedy Club show. Labor Day Weekend Edition. With your very special guest stars, Janelle Moore, Amanda Kikasi, E.K. Capo, Tom Palanato, and your headliner, Bill Douglas. With co-host Liz Frizius and co-producer Annalisa Wright. And now, without further ado, the master of ceremonies, the man who burnt all your hamburgers to a crisp. Please welcome A. A. Ron. Yay! Yay! Happy Labor Day, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it's... Fire trucks are here. Oh, my gosh, the fire trucks are here. I have to go let them in. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been out ba- cooking for Labor Day weekend. I hope you guys like carbon <laughs> how many people like carbon or is it no <laughs> oh look bill douglas and liz great so these are hockey pucks now um i'm not sure i could serve them to people that's not edible um but you could hurt somebody with them welcome to the labor day weekend show of this justin news comedy club we have such a great lineup tonight we have comics from all over the country I would say all over the world, but the rest of the world doesn't like us right now. So. <laughs> uh, you know what? What's really bugging me, and it's been bugging me for a while, is people say, are you doing any live mics? And I'm like, well, I'm doing live, but I am doing Zoom. I So does that, when I'm doing Zoom, does that mean I'm half dead? <laughs> you know, I, I am alive. I'm alive, so I'm not quite sure. So I'm not breathing the breath you're breathing. That's how we got the virus, okay? I can't, I'm not affecting you right now with my camera. All I am is spitting at my camera right now. And boy, do I have to clean that off. (laughs) So let's look at it this way. We're safe right now. We're having fun. It's a Saturday. You could drink all you want. You don't have to drive home. So just uh, enjoy yourself that way. That's the way you do it here. Oh. And we have a new co-host for tonight. Please welcome my friend, Liz Rizzias. Thank you. Woo! Woo! It's so cool. Woo! I a uh, military show with her because I am, um, you know, my dad was in the army and I feel like I never left. I, <laughs> I didn't sign up. I didn't enlist. Unless enlisting meant uh, giving my mom giving birth. Is that how I got enlisted? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's to our duty over. All right. Well, let's get started with the show, folks. Please welcome to the stage our very first comedian from all the way from Chicago. Please welcome Janelle Moore, everybody. <laughs> Janelle Moore, Janelle Moore, Janelle Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for our host. Loving all that energy. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Anyway. Make some virtual noise too if you're feeling good. Give props to yourself, knock them off, pat your back, clap right. it up, snap it up, whatever it is that you feel, let it out. Yeah. I mean, I know that I'm feeling good because fall is just right around the corner. I mean, can you just believe it? Yay. I know, right? No, don't, don't look at me like that. I get to make those lame mom jokes because I'm a mom. Whoa. Thank you. No judgment. I like that smile from you. All right. I see you in that little <laughs> corner. All right. Moving along. Now, some of your faces lit up when I mentioned fall and some of your faces didn't. I mean, I guess you forgot it is football season. And when them cheerleaders start jiggling around, yeah, they're going to give them skanks at the titty bar a run for their money. I say, well. <laughs> Anyhow, all of these things can seem pretty different. Like I can see we come from all different walks of life. Like you, Liz, with those long, luscious locks. I see you, girl. Clearly you are a cut above the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Tom, 
I'm loving that hair, giving me that mobster vibe, but dang, I would not want to mess with you. And I definitely wouldn't want to hear you say, break a leg, girl. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. Now, all of these things may seem so different, but we have a lot more in common than you think. Like, everybody wants to be loved. Everybody hates YouTube ads. And everybody has totally farted before. <laughs> and then pretended it wasn't them. I know. I mean, see, farts can bring people together. <laughs> yeah. And weird hobbies. Yes, during quarantine, people picked up a lot of really weird hobbies. You know, like soap carving, dirt polishing, and kegels. <laughs> I know. Yes, kegels to tone your pelvic muscles. I mean, that's what I did to pass the time during quarantine. So come on, boys. I'm ready to be your main squeeze. <laughs> anyway, you've got all different kinds of exhausting kegels. And I should know, because I've been doing one for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait for the show to start. Mm -hmm. I got I to gotta keep it going. I got to keep it blessing. Anyway, Kegels, you've got the quick hit. Mm, and no, nasty, it's not what you think. It's not how fast that you can go. It's just how quickly you can tone your pelvic muscles. And then you've got the endurance test. And no, nasty, it is not a Kama Sutra marathon. It's just how long you can hold a Kegel. And last, I know, right? That one's my favorite. <laughs> I know. L little tidbit there for you, a little get to know me. <laughs> and last but not least, the best Kegel that you can do to shore that you're that bad chick and quite possibly a keeper is, I know, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> the Inspire Remote Exerciser Kigo. Woo! Man, because if you cannot do that vibrator, you will quickly hear an I do, baby, from your partner. <laughs> and y'all will probably be in Vegas regretting your decisions. But hey, <laughs> you will enjoy it in the moment. I digress. <laughs> Another weird quirk that people picked up during quarantine is porn. Yes, porn usage went up by 11% worldwide. I mean, I guess the other 89% took up butter churning for a hobby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Anyway, porn usage continues to spike. I mean, I guess that's because sex is confusing. Sex is confusing because apparently we've forgotten how to do it. But don't use porn to relearn how to have sex or have orgasms. Because then your sex life. It's totally going to be like fake money, fake news, and fake Kardashian titties. And you don't want that. <laughs> I know. I mean, do you really want to sound like the squeal? It's just. <laughs> if you really want to sound like that where you're doing the horizontal hokey pokey, I don't think so. And really, I mean, just really, really, do you want to sound like this? Oh, wait, you totally do want to sound like that because it's all natural. So remember, folks, keep it real and do not use porn to improve your love life. Thank you so much, everybody. All right. Thank you, Jen Elmore. Oh, let's see. I think we're supposed to be on with her here. Hold on a second. My thing's going off. Add spotlight. There we go. There's Janelle. Hey, Janelle, where can we find you on social media? Turn on your mic. Yeah, you can find me at, at Janelle Moore on Instagram. Okay. And are you doing any other shows? I am yeah I'm currently well I'm currently doing in person shows at my buddies uh, but I'll also be doing a showcase with uh, Dean Lewis and I'm also going to post that on my Instagram page as well so yeah come find me there. Sweet go check her out Dean Lewis is a great comedian uh, he has a great uh, classes he does so go check out Dean Lewis uh, I did his classes I thought they were at least the one it was amazing so apparently Janelle's doing a, another class with him so that's awesome. Uh, love to do that. All right. Thank you so much. You know what? I thought farts didn't bring people together because that just makes me run out of the room. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't understand. I didn't do a Kegel during quarantine. Nope. I just did a lot of praying. <laughs> <laughs> for sex. Praying for sex. Please, honey. Please. <laughs> what do 
only be once a week, so now, please. Oh, I kid, I kid. No, I don't. That's really not. <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> yes, that is the issue. That is the issue. And that's why she's not here. She said she had to go get Chinese food. That was two hours ago. I, um, wait a minute. Oh, uh, I guess she doesn't, she's not impressed with the Zoom attire. Look, I have a nice shirt on and a tie, but I'm just wearing camo shorts right after this. That's it. That is, I am not wearing a full set of slack on a Zoom show. All right. And they say, don't do comedy with shorts on. Well, I do it all the time. All right. Let's get to our next comedian, shall we, Liz? Cool. All right. Please welcome to the stage a very funny comedian all the way from Florida. Please welcome Amanda Kakesi, everybody. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Hello, everyone. Hi. Woo -woo. Hey. <laughs> like a air That's on for real. That was real nice. Thank you. Um, like Aaron said, uh, I live in Florida. I live in Orlando, Florida, um, but I actually grew up in New York and then clearly things were going really well for me in New York because now <laughs> I live in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> you do when your life is going the way you want it to. <clears throat> um, like most people who live in the central Florida area, I work in a theme park, uh, with, which for uh, legal reasons may or may not have a castle. <laughs> and I feel like I live in like just a human study of like sociology because I just see the strangest behaviors on a daily basis a few weeks ago I was outside uh cleaning my little popcorn cart and a lady came up with her husband and their baby in a stroller and she said hey uh that castle did you guys paint it since we last were here and I was like yeah it used to be uh gray and blue but now it is pink and gold to celebrate the anniversary. And then she turned to her husband and said, see Kyle, Amanda here thinks you're a freaking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Kyle didn't say a, a dang word, lady. <laughs> <laughs> People like to wear a lot of interesting clothing to uh, my place of work. Uh, a few weeks ago, I saw a gentleman wearing a shirt that said, spread your love not your legs. <laughs> <laughs> and it took a lot of strength to go, sir, this is the magic kingdom. What do you think is going to happen here? Because <laughs> I can tell you with certainty, the only thing being spread right now where I'm at is COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> um, I came out of the closet when I was 23 years old. It was a very proud moment in my life. Um, I didn't know how my dad was going to take it. But it turned out he was really accepting. But he did have a moment of where he looked at me and he said, did I, did I make this happen? Um, and he asked that because when I was eight years old, he took me and my cousins to the beach. And he took us to take a walk on the, the pier to the lighthouse. And then on the way back, he was like, it would be a beautiful childhood memory for my daughter to walk back on the beach. What he didn't know was that the beach we were at had a nude beach. <laughs> imagine you're walking with your eight-year-old daughter your eight-year-old niece and their life is great and then one of them screams oh my god i see a penis <laughs> and we didn't just see one or five we saw roughly 50 <laughs> and you could see the look on my father's face like what crime he was going to be charged with <laughs> by the end of this trip. Oh. <laughs> I remember he was like, Amanda, I will, I, will, I will pay for your whole college tuition if you don't tell your mother. <laughs> so I immediately <laughs> told my mother. <laughs> so no, it didn't, it didn't turn me gay. You can't be turned gay, but I can't imagine that a hundred saggy testicles at the age of eight really drove the whole heterosexuality van. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've gotten the opportunity in the last year to travel a lot for comedy and it has been super cool. Um, recently on a travel, I got upgraded on my flight. It was a Spirit Airlines flight. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that Spirit did upgrades, but apparently they do. 
Um, but you know what? I got to respect spirit because they are who they are. The flight announcement was a little weird, though. The flight attendant got on the speaker and said, hi there. Welcome to Spirit Airlines. Um, the good news is, is that enough of you today bought tickets that we can hire the real pilot and we do not have to contract one off of fiber. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the pandemic, your flight attendants will be working remotely today. <laughs> and as of our latest inspection, we have found out that our vehicles cannot be con legally considered airplanes. <laughs> so please strap in and if your seatbelt doesn't buckle you can reach under your seat and get get the complimentary duct tape that we supply and say a prayer thank you for traveling with us today because remember legally we can't say flight thank you very much my name is amanica casey thank you oh, let's give it up for amanica casey and amanda where can we find you on full sleep um, if you go to Instagram, I, <laughs> if you go Sorry. to Instagram, it's okay. <laughs> um, it just strokes my ego, really. Um, yeah, so if you go to it, good. <laughs> uh, Instagram, um, it's my first and last name. There is an extra E at the end of Kikasi. Um, yeah, and you can find me there. Sweet. Go take, and you're doing a live, I know you've been traveling doing live shows. So. Um, yes, actually, on the 12th, I will be in Rhode Island at a show called uh, Rainbow Raffle, um, and it is a show for queer comics, and then at the end of this month, I'm competing um, for a spot at the Orlando Improv, so we'll see how that Ooh. goes. Sweet. That's awesome. That's great. Wow. Great that. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see how that goes. Thank you. Go check that out. Yes, that's awesome. You know what? And you mentioned Spirit Airlines. You know, uh, it's been kind of weird. I heard Delta is going to charge uh, their employees $200 extra a month if they're not vaccinated. But all Spirit Airlines is asking for is their thought, your thought and prayers. Before they <laughs> <laughs> oh please, please make sure we don't die. <laughs> <laughs> When I went to go book my uh, refund, my refund uh, through Spirit Airlines, because you know you got some money back if you booked before COVID and it didn't get through, I noticed the seat has changed. It does fold now, just a folding chair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring one. Apparently, they say you got to bring your own chair. Oh, to yeah. How does that work? I don't understand. I don't know how safe that's going to be. In the, the oh, yeah. belt's going to be like some rope. Anyway, okay, that's the end of Spirit Airlines being cheap. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up the stage is a winner. Well, maybe he is. Uh, of my favorite game show because I love it. <laughs> called Bombing Run. And that's where three yeah. teams compete against each other, where my mysterious yes. judge decides who's first, second, or third place. And the first place person gets to be on my charity show. And this great comedian. Oh. Is the winner from a few weeks ago. So please welcome the stage. Hey, somebody. somebody else. EK Kappa, everybody. Oh, okay, wait a minute. What room am I supposed to be in? God, man, what's the deal? Oh, I don't know if I want to look at this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Ah, I'm getting tired of working at this Airbnb. Why can't people just have normal bowel movements? Like, <laughs> oh, right, let me, let me, I, this not enough. I need to get, I need to get another thing. I can't, I can't oh. find that one. Oh, oh man, I, I, uh, well, what are we doing here? What people, pandemic, try, pandemic. Oh, geez. Anyways, oh, oh the camera's on. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, how's it? Aloha, aloha. Good yeah. to see all of you guys. If I can't see you, yeah, it's the security camera we got here at the Airbnb. I'm EK, and you guys are, yeah, oh, we're, we're not going to go look. I'm, I'm taking my glasses off. I'm not even going to look. I'm not going to look anymore. But yeah, I'm like, let me tell you, this is my job. I'm originally from Hawaii, 
And I came to Utah, they said, why not go ahead and uh, travel, EK? Why not leave paradise, EK? So why don't you go to Utah, EK? <laughs> so I'm in Utah now. I'm stuck in a state of Utah. <laughs> Doesn't that scare you? How many people been to Utah? Ooh. <laughs> you don't make me crazy. Well, I am I just want to let you know that you're looking at me and I do work here. And uh, I was supposed to, I got a call from the boss saying that he, hey, you got to go ahead and get unstuffed at Twilight Deli. I said, not the same person, not the same person. Why don't they know that quit eating so much fiber? Okay, jeez. So we're not, no, we're not going to look at that. Hey, I, I want to tell you now, let me see. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, hey, check this out. Can you see this? Why would anybody leave a roll like this? Why would anybody? You know what it tells me? that you are not seriously wiping. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay, whatever. Yeah, that thing. Oh, yeah, 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 hey, get this. I've been working at home uh, key, housekeeping. Yeah, housekeeping. And I know the technique, okay? I got a question for you guys. Guys and women, do you like your roll over or going under? Over. Over, <laughs> under, <laughs> who cares as long as there's toilet paper and people don't leave it like this. Jeez, okay, I'm going to do it. Oh man, my mom, my mom, let me tell you, I'm half Hawaiian, half Filipino. I know you're looking at me and saying, he doesn't look like he's Polynesian. Mm, does it look like that? Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa, Aquaman. Yeah, you know what? You think he, yeah, yeah, the women think you don't look like him. You're not him, really. You're not him. I know, I, you know, hey, if I smell like fish, you would tell me, get the hell out of here, okay? <laughs> so, you know, but him, oh, I just love your cologne. Ooh, uh, Jason Moore. Ooh, oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, check this out. You know why I'm working here at the Airbnb? Why would anybody have matches? Is this like an old school thing, matches in a toilet? Yeah, because my, my mom, okay, being half Hawaiian, half Filipino, I like to identify myself as a jalapeno. Hey, you like that? I get play on words, you know, professional comedy. Whoa! My mom used to have these. I remember that. She used to light it up after she's done using the bathroom. After she started destroying the toilet, you know, you know, and she's a little Filipino lady. Must be all the kimchi she must eat. She goes, oh, I don't want anybody to smell. I don't want to any. Mom, you're going to blow up the toilet. No, my kid. Must be an Asian thing. I don't know. Fireworks. Okay. Oh, by the way, do not. Do not have D's right next to the toilet. Mm. Check it out, man. <laughs> yeah. Baby wipes this. When you're in a rush to get out, you'll grab this. This is, you get the old home free way of bleaching your beehive. Yeah. You're supposed <laughs> to pay for that. In, yeah, in the Brazil, guys, yeah. I gotta tell you this, okay. I don't know why this, this model toilet should be able to flush everything up. That's what the guy at Home Depot said, you know? The guy, you know, he was Latino. He goes, hey man, you know, you got to do it, man. Do it with these. This guy do it. He can even take a bucket full of golf balls. You can flush it down, man. I say, look, Jose, let me tell you this. Let's make it real. Why don't you mix it with a big jar of peanut butter chunky style and see if those golf balls will go down the toilet. <laughs> That's how the real test. Try that when you go to Home Depot, folks, when you're looking for a toilet, okay? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I, I know what I forgot. Wait, hang on. Stay right there. Stay right there. I know. Don't okay, leave okay. me. Okay, don't leave me. All right, we okay. <laughs> right, I don't know, man. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it now. I got it. Hang on. Oh. I keep telling the people, you got to use this, okay? 
okay, if you can help me come here and work on the toilet, we have some of this, spray some of this. Mm. You know what the one cracks me up and this one says, Tropic Island Breeze. <laughs> 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 or Fiji Breath. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Momoa fart. No, I'm just joking. Uh, uh, yeah, that's real Polynesian. Uh, I don't know. Guys, I've been in here in Utah for so long. I need to go back to Hawaii. I need to go see the breeze. I need to see the sunset. I need to go see women. <laughs> Actually, that's a different thing. You know, a lot of people say, Boy, the reason why you don't look like you're Polynesian, you're really small, you know? I mean, yeah, 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 typical Polynesian, big like Jason, big necks, big arm, big shoulders, big body, big legs. And that's just our girlfriends over there, so uh, <laughs> anyway, the women. I got, <laughs> I got threatened last time I used that. You notice how I kind of started to step? But is that the phone, you hear that? Yeah. Oh, geez. hang on. I'm busy here. <laughs> wow, what the? What the heck? Okay. Oh, I mean, aloha, aloha. <laughs> yes, aloha, aloha, ha. Yes, this is this is Aloha Airbnb. Welcome to Aloha in Utah. What? <laughs> oh, yes, we have many rooms you can. You can sign up for okay, yeah. Uh, um, I, I'm busy right now, but let me send you to the desk, okay? Oh shoot! Anyways, guys, I gotta go. I'm the desk now. I got them on hold. <laughs> I hope they like the the music. It's island music. <laughs> Whatever, people. The tourists like it. Oh, hey, just want to tell you. Remember these? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of dating myself. Remember this? We had only one in the village. Good thing we had the long cord going all the way to each hut. Oh. <laughs> I know you don't believe that. Okay. Anyways, I'm UK. I got to go. And uh, I love you. Much aloha. Remember, have big. Oh. <laughs> big aloha. <laughs> and remember, mahalo. Aloha. Love you all. Talk to you later. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, hi, Hello, this is this. Hello. 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 A big round of applause. And he can. I, I'm sure he's gone now. Oh, he? yeah, no, I can't. I can talk oh, to you. Okay. I'm going to okay. sit. I'm going to take a seat here. Uh, EK, where can we find you on oh. social media, man? I, I know where you oh. are. What you tell us. Hey, I got one for you. Homemade, man. Homemade. You know, I can see a lot of my craziness and also my half brother, Willie Boy. Oh, yeah. Come and see us at YouTube. And it's, you can't read that. It's really boy made it. The kind half and half. Oh, sweet. The kind half and half. Because I'm half Hawaiian, half Philippine. Never mind. You don't want to go through that joke. Yeah, that. <laughs> Are you doing any live shows there, EK? Or from your it's coming up. They've got a, it, but it's all in Utah. Wow. But it's, yeah, it's, uh, they got a festival of, get this. Polynesian festival. And they say, hey, let's go get EK. He's Polynesian. No, he's not. He doesn't look. He looks more Puerto Rican. Man, brown is brown, whatever. Okay. But I've got things going on in here. But if you go to that YouTube, the kind half and half, mm -hmm. you'll find a schedule there of me doing stuff. But anyways, more than just working here at this Airbnb. Boy, it kind of smell. Oh, yeah. We got. Well, I was wondering why that smell. Down like. there, uh, EK. I think it's more than enough. Oh my gosh! You know, uh, I'm gonna add Liz to this. Yeah, you know what, Liz? That was kind of scary. He was doing it from his toilet for a while there. I thought the whole set was gonna be flush. You've got the order, <laughs> the understatement. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm so, and and Liz in the army, don't you guys? You don't you know you you dig a latrine, you poop in there, or whatever. Oops, I said poop. Anyways, you do your business. It's called a cat hole. <laughs> it's a cat hole. So don't you guys like matches? I mean, I wish my dad would just have used a blowtorch when he got done in our bathroom. Dear Lord. I, I never got that, understood that. You know, it just uh, smells like bird poop. 
I well, you don't light the poop on fire. You're just supposed to <laughs> wave it around. If there's that much gas, you might have an explosion. So be cautious. That's true. Now maybe that's why we didn't have that because our bathroom was so small. You had to you know, walk out of it to take a shower. Um, <laughs> oh, very pretty small. I kid, I kid. We didn't have to walk out to take a shower because we didn't have a shower till I was in ninth grade. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny, EK. Oh, so Liz, let's see who we got next. Who do we have next? Hmm. I think we've got an extra special guest coming up. Oh yeah. The letter starts with a T. Yes, yes. Yay. So please, please welcome to the stage a very funny comedian from New York, Tom Pad Obano. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Now. All through this pandemic, I've been working. I have physically showed up for my job. But I finally said, boss, can I work from home? He said, no, you're a cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of crazy bosses. I had this one. If I made a mistake, she'd say, Tom, look at the mistake you made. But if she made a mistake, it was, oh, Tom, look at the mistake we made. <laughs> so I said, well, boss, look at the ugly dress we're wearing. <laughs> I had this other boss, a tough guy. Every day he'd say, so, working hard or hardly working? I grabbed his neck and said, well, boss, breathing hard or hardly breathing? <laughs> I got fired. And, and I hate looking for a job. I went on this interview. They said, Tom, this job pays a thousand a week, but in six months, it goes to two thousand a week. Ooh. I said, great. I'll come back in six months. <laughs> <laughs> And I, and I come from a poor family here in New York, but every year my parents sent me to summer camp every January. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you though, even though we didn't have money, every night my mother had food on the table. I wish we had plates. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. When I was a kid, my mom and I didn't get along. When I was seven, I said, Mom, am I adopted? Not yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> then I remember once I said, Mommy, I wanted a toy truck for Christmas. Santa didn't get me one. I'm upset. She goes, shut up. You're 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> But I do remember when my father built me a tree house when I turned 50. <laughs> he said, move out of my basement already. <laughs> well, my parents were embarrassed by me. I was a terrible student, but I had tough teachers. Like my gym teacher, when we played dodgeball, he drove the dodge. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I wasn't the class clown. I was a class idiot, always getting left back. Do you know any other kid in third grade excuse for jury duty? <laughs> Terrible. My teacher made my parents write on the blackboard 100 times, we won't have more kids. <laughs> and now I have this disgusting apartment. It has a bug problem. It's, it's bad. I tried to open the kitchen cabinet door and it was pulled shut from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And the other day I ran out of raid. So I sprayed a cockroach with lemon pledge. Mm. It died, but had a great shiny finish. <laughs> <laughs> and he smelled great. <laughs> You know, I've come, I feel like I'm coming near the finish. I'm getting older now and I'm not hip 
or anything, you know, like I'm not on Instagram. I'm on Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. You know, I don't even know what color socks to wear with my brown sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should they be thigh highs or knee highs? I don't know. <laughs> and now I have hair growing out of my ears and it has dandruff. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to shampoo with head and shoulders and ears? <laughs> and I gotta stop dating much younger women. I went out with this young woman last week and I said, have you ever seen Gilligan's Island? No, take me there. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. The only thing I had to take myself was to my doctor because I haven't been feeling well. Dr. Julio Alejandro Bernstein. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this man is brilliant. He taught me things I never knew, like how to approach a woman in a restaurant without fear of rejection by using the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing man, yeah. Oh, he examined me. He examined me for less than five minutes and he told me to come back the next morning for an autopsy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was mad at me because I said, doctor, it hurts me when I touch here, hurts me when I touch here, hurts me when I touch here. He goes, idiot, you got a broken finger. <laughs> and then he sends me to the Vincent Van Gogh Mental Health Center and Ear Clinic. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I actually like it there because they have entertainers come in. Like once they had this hypnotist, he got five of us on stage. <laughs> we were <laughs> cackling like chickens, barking like dogs. <laughs> then he hypnotized us. <laughs> but you know, it's so important to have a good doctor. I feel sorry for my neighbor. Her doctor said, Mrs. Sicko, you only have 10 to live. She goes, what do you mean? 10 years, 10 months? He said, 10, nine. <laughs> <laughs> but look, if you want good things to happen, you got to do your part, right? It's like my uncle Luigi. Now, every Sunday we go to church together. Every Sunday he prays the same prayer. Oh God, please let me win the lottery. Oh God, please let me win the lottery. So the sky gets dark and a voice comes from the sky and says, you want to win the lottery? Do me a favor, buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be in it to win it. Now I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship, but my girlfriend dumped me. I wasn't surprised because a couple of days before she did, I said, honey, while you've been dating me, have you been dating other men? She goes, oh, Tom, come on. You're the fifth guy to ask me that today. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm not good at meeting women I went to this club I said hey babe what's your sign keep off <laughs> I was talking to this one woman she said she wants to date at least 10 men at the same time I said listen honey I'm not into that I'm monotonous <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this other woman said she's looking for a man comfortable in his own skin. I said, babe, that's not me. I have psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was itching to leave. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know. That was my reaction, too. Oh, and then this really sophisticated woman says to me, my last name's hyphenated. I said, my last name is Padavano. <laughs> Off. but I do remember my first love and I remember saying to her oh Hortense I know I'm not as smart as Johnny I'm not as handsome as Johnny and I don't make as much money as Johnny but Hortense I will love you forever and she said Tom that is so sweet but tell me more about Johnny 
<laughs> well, listen, you've been a wonderful audience, confused, but wonderful. <laughs> and I sincerely hope you've had as much fun and pleasure as I've had emotional strain. <laughs> oh. oh, don't worry about me. I'm just going to go back to the Vincent Van Gogh Mental Health Center and Ear Clinic <laughs> and let them see if they'll call my parole officer and ask my parole officer if I could use the 10 minutes that I perform on this show toward my community service. <laughs> so thank you and enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, let's give yeah. it up for Tom. Pat Obama, everybody. Hey, Tom, what do you find on social media? Well, I am actually on Instagram. I am Tom, Tom Comedy, the number two. Or just find me on Facebook, Tom Padovano. Sweet. And are you doing any live shows? I'm going to do the Staten Island Comedy Show, which is a cable TV show Ooh. on October 14th. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Sweet. That's awesome. That sounds like a great thing. Put that in the chat. Let us know when that's going to be on. Hey, wasn't that a great set, Liz? Oh, my gosh. He's going to be on TV. We're sitting here on a, well, I'm on a TV. Are we on TV? <laughs> it's the next best thing. It's the next best thing. Yeah, you're right, because we don't have to put up with an executive producer yelling in our ears quite yet, right? <laughs> you don't have to worry about the Nielsen ratings. That's true. That's true. Oh, you know what? He brought up he got kicked out of his house at 50, you know, his parents' house. I can get kicked out of my parents' house because he didn't get it done built yet. Just, I, can't even, I, can't, I can't even go back to live in the basement. It's not completed. The whole house is sitting there since 1991, not completed. Let's figure this one out. How did he get kicked out of a house? You can't get kicked out of a house if the house is not done. That's my dad's uh, whole idea was never finish the house. And uh, <laughs> I guess that works. I guess that really does work. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we've had such amazing comedians. I guess we got the last guy here, don't we? We do. Yeah, I mean, we kind of did this as a favor. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Liz and I know this guy. He is such a funny comedian. He is all the way from New Hampshire. Let's please welcome the stage. Bill Douglas, everybody. Woo -hoo -hoo! All right. All right. Thank you so much, Darren. Good to see everybody. You know, I've been teaching middle school science for 35 years. I still love learning alongside my students. Here are some animal fun facts. Dung beetles have an amazing sense of smell. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Dung beetles roll around balls of camel shit. They're not out sniffing Chardonnay. <laughs> Pokey <laughs> with a hint of orange. <laughs> Honeybees communicate with complicated movements. The technical term is a waggle dance, but that's just a buzzword. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins eat fish. Oh, it froze up. Obviously. It's Aaron's comedy thing, but it just froze up. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so dolphins eat fish. Babies, you know, so zoom links for and... dolphin real estate, it's all about echolocation, echolocation, echolocation. <laughs> <laughs> Wild pigs spend all day sleeping in nests. Maybe if wild pigs were a little more interesting, we wouldn't call them boars. <laughs> 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 Female crabs are called Jennies and male crabs Jimmies. Few people care. I just know I want Jenny and Jimmy out of my crotch. I had a friend with crabs so bad he started walking sideways. <laughs> Sixth graders always ask why they need to learn science, but the truth is, science explains our lives. Like you must remember the first law of motion, a body at rest remains at rest until his wife notices the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> and that body in motion remains in motion until she goes out with friends. 
Then there's Vito's law. I'm not sure if you remember Vito's law. Bodies are best disposed of at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, academic standards are rising here in New Hampshire, and there's a move to go back to the three R's, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic. And some expect sixth graders to correctly identify which of the three R's actually begins with an R. <laughs> <laughs> So last year, my principal made all decisions on his own and got a lot of flack. Mm. So th this year, he's pledging 100% transparency. <laughs> yeah, sure. 100% transparency. I can see right through him. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a question from an online first aid class I had to take for school. True or false? Having children gather in a visible area prior to backing out of the driveway is the best way to prevent backing accidents. <laughs> I think the best way to prevent backing accidents is to teach your young Einstein that if 3,000 pounds of metal heads their way, move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, daddy, daddy, what should I do? What should I do? So they say that every hot dog you eat takes 36 <laughs> minutes off your life. <laughs> Great. I lived on hot dogs from age 12 to 26. <laughs> <laughs> I do the math. I'm going to probably die like last Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> if only we could pick which 36 minutes of our lives we lose. You know, hey, Bill, I got us tickets to modern dance tonight. Oh, <laughs> let me grab a few hot dogs first. <laughs> <laughs> I was making my lunch today and it occurred to me that flatbread is really well named. Gosh, Bill, that sure is some flatbread you got there. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now another well-named food fruit roll-ups mm. at least the roll-up part <laughs> <laughs> grits don't seem so well named you know unless you eat them during a sandstorm <laughs> <laughs> so they say when hypnotized guys fear pictures of snakes and tigers, but not guns and knives. Apparently it's evolution at work. We just haven't had eons of experience with guns and knives. So how long till guys instinctively fear baby showers and dance recitals? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a notice for a missing cat and it had a photo of the most miserable looking cat. <laughs> and it read, Tigger's been missing three weeks. Please keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on some animal sounds. Let's see if you guys can get these, okay? Number one. Ready? Number one. Meow. Cat. Cat. Yeah, very good. Very good. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Cow. 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 Excellent, Tom. <laughs> Very good. Tom got it first. Okay. Number three. Can I go to the bathroom? A woman. <laughs> that was Amy from the second period. <laughs> she asked every day. <laughs> All right. Last one's the tough one. Last one's the tough oh, one. You ready? Yeah. See if you can get this. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> Obviously a painted turtle, you know, not a box turtle. Subtle difference, you know. <laughs> I was doing this at a live show last week and somebody goes, uh, 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 Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> So I found
found these frames when I was running the other day and I've been wearing them. Mm. And people keep saying, dude, you know, there's no lenses in those things. I'm like, that's okay. My eyesight's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you hear about the new uh, program aimed at treating alcoholism and inactivity? Mm. It's called Irish 12-step dancing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a simpler version for Texans, the two-step. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, many Irish don't want to quit drinking, so they just count on forgetting where they are on step three or step four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, from the top. <laughs> you know, I know it's no good to uh, add insult to injury, but what about subtracting insult from injury? Like after breaking a guy's kneecaps, whisper, love that sweater. <laughs> <laughs> When my son was in first grade, they needed to hire another teacher. So I volunteered for a games fundraiser and I, I brought small trinkets for prizes. And I'm setting up the table. Another parent walks over and says, I don't know if you realize, but some of those are choking hazards. I said, I don't know if you realize, but we're trying to reduce class size. <laughs> I think we're on the same side. <laughs> My son's in art school and it's expensive. So I needed extra money. And I surprised everyone by landing a modeling job mm. with the Department of Transportation. <laughs> You've all seen pedestrian crossing signs, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I, I miss my son way more than I thought when he went off to college and I considered adopting a highway <laughs> I thought nah I'm done picking up after others <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And I had to drive him back to art school last week 600 miles with a mm. 21 year old Oh. Out of the blue, he goes, hey, dad, what do you think about assisted suicide? <laughs> I said, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, folks, <laughs> I teach middle school. I'm not against euthanasia, only youth. <laughs> <laughs> My son was more into academics than sports in high school. In fact, he lettered in Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a cue, so it was really worth something, you know? Oh. One time we're, we're, we're getting ready to play, and he's flipping the tiles, flipping the tiles. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. That's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the way, never play surname Scrabble with a Croatian. They can use J's, Z's, and X's like nobody's business. You know? <laughs> All right, Luca, read him and weep. Nielsen, double word for 12 points. Very nice, Beal. Very nice. Let's see what I can do. How about uh, Jizzix for 7,000? <laughs> well, I want to end by saying how thankful I am to be with all of you. In fact, I am lucky to be with you right now because I was at Home Depot earlier and a guy backing out of his parking space missed me by this much, you know, eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine your last picture taken with a backup camera? <laughs> <laughs> That's the picture I want sitting on my coffin at the end. You know, looks like a before picture for a plastic surgeon. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Bill Douglas. Thank you, Bill Douglas. A big round of applause. And Bill, can we find you on social media? Uh, no, but if you um, if you leave a message with Liz, she'll send a snail mail for me. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, I can send you a telegram.
I think I have that app on my phone. Smoke okay. signals not, not before it. sunset too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. Carrier pigeon. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Uh, you got any live shows or other Zoom shows you're doing, Bill? Well, my next live show is a three-hour tour on Portland Harbor on 9-11. So what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I hope nothing. I hope nothing. Uh, have, you checked the, uh, have you checked the manifest to make sure who's on that boat? Well, I'm not planning anything for 9-12 and later. <laughs> well, everybody, please have, have their hopes and prayers out for Bill. And he's not going to be on a Spirit Airlines, but he's going to be on a boat on 9-11. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I can't oh. swim. <laughs> oh, he can't swim. <laughs> Someone send him a roll of lifesavers. I, I don't know. Oh, well, that was a great show, wasn't that, Liz? That was fantastic. What a lineup tonight. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Let's give you all a big round of applause. Oh, my gosh. I want to thank Janelle Moore. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. E.K. Duffo, Tom Pradovano, and Bill Douglas. One more time. You guys are so awesome. Oh, my God. You guys are so cool. Thank you for being part of this show. And like I said, it won't be on YouTube tonight. It'll be on next Saturday. So I'm going to get to see I need more of my stuff. And that's why we're going to make this a more of an event thing and have more fun. But that was the show for tonight, guys. Thank you, Liz Frizzy, for being my co-host tonight. That was so awesome. You came in and knocked it out of the park. And thank you once again to Annalisa Wright for making this run so well. Almost like a TV show, except for the executive producer yelling in our ear. The only thing that's yelling in my ear is the time. So that's the show for tonight, guys. We're going to be on September, let's see, that's uh, 14 days now, 18th. i got to do the math. September 18th is the next show, so five more great comedians will be on. And that's it for, it for the night, guys. This has been an oddly funny production. Thank you. All right, uh, I'm gonna stop the recording. I thought I was gonna stop the recording. What's going on right now? What do I do? This has been an oddly funny production.